So just a reminder, this is how we start 2024 in Spain. Real Madrid and Girona, of course Girona, uh, level on points at the top of the table. Atletico Madrid third, Barcelona fourth. We've already asked uh, one big question looking ahead to the new year, and that was about Kylian Mbappe. Uh, let's ask you a few more, shall we, Alex? Starting with how long has Xavi got? I think Xavi gets time. I think Xavi gets at least until the end of the season to, to get things right, because it's Xavi. Because of what he represents, because of how popular he is with the fan base, was a legend as a as a player, I think there's still a belief in him and they can get this right, but they've got to make top four. Of course, that's a bare minimum for Barcelona. They've got to make top four and really they need to be challenging for the title. Right now, they're, they're not out of the race, but it's Madrid and Girona and then Atleti and Barca in sort of a second rung, I guess you might say, and that's not good enough for, for Barcelona. They're not playing well. The team is kind of dysfunctional. They're not defending well. They're not attacking well either, but he'll be given time, I think, to, to get this right. Almost whatever happens, Xavi gets, I think, until the end of the season. And it's simply because he's Xavi. Yeah, yeah. Listen, you win the you win the league the previous year, then plus you're Xavi, then you, yeah. you deserve a little leeway. Uh, and we, Alex, if if they're in the top four, he he stays. Really? Yeah. And if they're outside of it, then he he probably deserves to go. The issue is, chat. The issues are everywhere. You know, not yeah. converting goals and not defending as they did so well last season. And, and their all-round play just has not been good. I, I think the most alarming thing for me is, is rumours coming out of, of Barcelona, about Laporta and what's happening behind the scenes. That just suggests that he's undermining Xavi a, a little, which seems really strange, really concerning to me. Because I'm with everybody in that this is Xavi. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you don't go behind his back, given his standing with, with, with the football club. And while things aren't great right now, he needs that support. And I, I just don't think he's getting it. So I, as a result, I, I just feel that he's got until the end of the season. I don't see them winning the league. Um, so if they, if they don't lift other significant silverware, it'll be seen as a, as a failed season. And again, given some of the rumours and speculation... I'm not sure that that paints a pretty picture for, for next season. And then who will take over next Michel season? Michel will take over next oh, season. Oh, you there you are, Shaq. The manager yeah. of Girona, of That's course right. he will. Uh, meanwhile, a lot more optimism, of course, around Real Madrid, especially uh, Jude Bellingham. So the next big question for 2024, will he be top scorer, Alex? Yeah, I think so. I, th I think he will be. I, I think you look at the competition, and right now it isn't there. You look at Atletico Madrid, you've got Griezmann, Morata scoring goals, having great seasons, sure. And you look at Girona and someone like Dolph Bick, who's been who's been scoring goals and overperforming. I think the only real challenger to Bellingham finishing as top scorer is if, and it's a big if, if Barca get it right, if Lewandowski goes on a run. You could see Lewandowski you know, going on a streak of scoring a game after game after game. And then, yeah, sure, he'd be a contender with, with Bellingham. But otherwise, I think, I think Bellingham is, is, is out there. The only way that that changes is if this, if this incredible goal-scoring form that Bellingham's shown so far dries up completely, which it shows no signs of doing so far. But like I say, I just don't see the contenders there. I don't see a sort of a, a high-volume goal scorer who can compete with Bellingham right now, apart from Lewandowski, if somehow he finds his shooting boots. Is that likely? Yeah. I, I, I think my, my only if to, to Bellingham not lifting the leading goal scorer in, in La Liga is if Kylian Mbappe arrives. And, and, and that is, is just... <laughs> I, I don't see that happening. I, I just feel that the way Madrid play with the front two just allows for Bellingham to arrive late, as he's done so well all season long. So unless that changes and they go to a front three and all of a sudden Bellingham is asked to sit a little bit deeper, then I, I think the chasing pack uh, makes, up, makes up the ground. But I, I don't see Mbappe changing. I don't see Real Madrid changing. I see, I see Bellingham lifting the, the top score award.